everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's a little bit chilly today. Uh, we're down in the single digits and the uh, last couple of days have been uh, nighttime temperatures have been down on the minus temperatures. Uh, we've been going through a cold snap much like uh, most of the United States has been going through a cold snap. So we got down as low as minus 28, uh, but it's warming up now, so that's better. Uh, today I'm going to put uh, install lasers on the sawmill. Um, I've got my uh, Sawing with Sandy hat on. Uh, Sandy has a YouTube channel uh, that covers, uh, he does firewood and projects around his property, but uh, mostly he focuses on the Woodland Mills sawmill. And most of us who are into sawmilling know who Sa Sandy is, um, but for those of you who have never heard of him, yeah, he has a YouTube channel and he covers mostly Woodland Mills sawmills and probably a lot of us who bought Woodland Mills sawmills were partly influenced by uh, Sandy, I know I was. So, uh, but he's got a video out there that um, uh, talks about installing lasers. And so I bought the same system that he bought. The, uh, I'll put a link to uh, his YouTube channel in my description. But um, I, I thought about the, the lasers and I kind of went back and forth about getting it, but uh, I decided in the end to go ahead and get it. Um, the way I see it, the pros are, it's nice to be able to look down the wood and see uh, when you're cutting your cant, where your cuts are gonna be and how much uh, waste you're cutting off and uh, where the blade's gonna go. And then the other pro I think is on the other side, putting a laser on the other side, then you can see your stops. Um, so you'll know if your blade's gonna hit your stops or not. Um, they say everybody hits their stops at least once. Um, so far I have not. Um, I like to keep it that way, but we'll see. But anyway, I think that'll go a long ways to help. On the downside, um, I know as you're using the mill, the, the laser bounces around a lot because the mill head's shaking. And so that's not gonna be as useful. And then uh, in uh, bright light conditions, of course, it's difficult to see the laser. And being out in the open like that, I'm, I'm sure I'll experience that problem on sunny days. And, um, but once I'm in a sawmill shed, I, I think I'm hoping that'll uh, kind of alleviate that and it'll be a lot more useful to me. The other advantage for me, I think, is once I have the uh, power feed from Epic Saw, um, you use a remote to uh, control that. And I'll be able to stand and walk around the log as I'm uh, sawing it. So ha being able to see that line, I think, will be kind of helpful. So anyway, uh, I'm going to install those lasers. The lasers is made up of, um, you, you buy them uh, each separately. So I bought two of them. So you buy the laser, and then you have to buy a uh, converter that converts 12 volts to 3 volts and uh, you know, and you'll need to get wire and you'll need a switch. I happen to have a wiring harness from um, a light system for a truck. So I, I just went ahead and used that wire and used that switch to wire it up. Um, but the other thing that I'm doing that I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do is uh, I'm doing something a little bit different to install the brackets. You know, the, the problem with the brackets, the way I see it anyway, is that um, you can see here on the bracket, they have the two horizontal slots for your um, to screw them into your sawmill, and then they have the uh, the attachment here for for the laser. The problem is that those slots are offset from the center of this uh, side of the laser, so it's not like you can just run a laser down the uh, the line of the blade onto your saw and then drill some holes there and mount your bracket because they'll be off a little bit. And I noticed like Sandy used a um, press a wrench to kind of tweak this a little bit to line it up and I don't know what others are doing but I thought what I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a um, magnet on here a high-powered magnet and a rare earth magnet and then um, I've already got my wiring harness on and uh, hooked up so the lasers work so then I can put the lasers in here and get them mounted horizontally and then uh, I should be able to position this and line it up with the blade perfectly and then I can go ahead and mark the holes and then drill the holes. So I'm going to give that a try. That's a, I know that's a little bit different than what other people have been doing, but I think it's going to ease the installation. So uh, let me uh, get you guys, move you up over here so you get a closer view, and we'll give that a try. So what I've done with the first laser here is I put some tape there so the pencil line would show up better when I mark it. And then I'm using the magnet to hold the, uh, the bracket in place. And what I've done is uh, I've, tr I've tried to position it so that, um, I don't know if you can see on the teeth there, I tightened up the saw blade so it's nice and straight. And you can see down in the end there where the laser is hitting the end. I've tried to line it up so that the, 
the teeth are kind of lit up. So it kind of lights up the teeth. I don't know if you can see it, but as long as most of the teeth are lit up down the line there, I'm assuming that's fairly straight. So actually it seems to work out really well to do it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it, drill it, and then uh, hopefully that's gonna be dead on. But um, at where it sits right now, it seems to be pretty good because it's right down that line. So uh, let me do that. Let me uh, get you guys set back up on a permanent stand and I'll drill those holes and mark them. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys we got the uh, lasers installed um, you can see the line running down there I don't know if you can tell you might be able to see you can faintly see the, the teeth kind of glowing green and that's when the lines coming down and then the lines on the log they, the two seem to line up with each other and agree so whoops but there you go now you can see those lines um, so yeah the next thing to do is uh, make a test cut I'll do that in warmer weather, but um, start the mill and make a little cut, and um, then we will um, make sure those lines line up with the with the cut. So um, yeah, so that'll do the installation. Overall, I, I think that method worked pretty well. Um, if any of you guys are going to uh, install some um, um, lasers, it'd be nice to see you guys give it a try. And let me know what you think but uh yeah i thought that worked pretty well so all right so please like and subscribe and i'll keep trying to make videos about sawmill so i'll see you in the next video